let's try it out let's open it up let's make it big now you can see we'll be getting the following animation between our entire screens hello and welcome to the first tutorial of our new project of twitter clone in this video we guys will be building up the splash screen the landing view and also the login view of our application so on your screen you can see i have some boilerplate code prepared for you under my boilerplate code i have three folders of app of core and also of meta under the meta folder it will be containing all the views and widgets of our application the core folder contains all the providers and services yes we are going to use provider as our main state management under our app folder i have providers all the routes and also all the shared files now don't worry you will be getting all of the following code under the description box along with having such a fantastic project structure under my pubspec.yml file, I have got all the dependencies that we shall be requiring. Also, I have got some of the following fonts and all the assets prepared for you. So without any further ado, let's start building our entire application. So first thing first, if you see under my void main, I have the following run app method, which runs my core app, which, which has the following stateless widget and returns my entire lava. Under my lava, I have a dark theme set up for our entire application. And under my material app, I have my dark theme, which renders the following brightness, background color, primary color, font, family, and text theme. The following text theme is situated under our shared folder, which contains the following text field itself, that is text theme itself. And so and so, let's get started with building the splash screen of our application. So we can be moving under our meta folder and I will be creating a new file that is folder known as views and under my views I will be creating a new file known as splash view easy let's have a main file for it which will be splash view dot dart so under my splash view dot dart let's have a new stateful widget we shall be naming it a splash view itself instead of a container let's return a new scaffold under my scaffold let's have a background color so here I will be having a background color from my black color now the following black color is rendered from the file which is a shared file for all the colors. After having the following background color of black color, let's have the body of our scaffold. Under my body it shall be containing a main child to be a center. And under my center let's have a new child which will be just an icon of our twitter bird. So under this I will be using EY icons and from my EY icons I will be using twitter icon. Let's have somewhat size to it. So under size let's have 130. And also let's have some color to it and under color let's have a blue color easy now the following size height and ev icons are all rendered from our pubspec.yaml file after having the body to our scaffold we can go at the top and have our init state method and under our init state method i am going to be having a new timer we shall be imported from dart async the timer shall be used for auto redirecting the user from our splash screen to the landing page so under my timer let's have a new duration under a duration you can give it any sort of duration but 2 seconds shall be ok after having the following duration let's have a new transition method and instead of having our old traditional navigator method we are gonna be using name routes so for using the method of name routes you should be moving under the folder of routes that is a file of routes and under my file first of all i am gonna be having a constant string known as splash route or at a capital R splash route and the following splash route shall be nothing but a string of slash splash already a slash splash and after that i am going to be having a new string known as landing route and the following thing shall be a new string which will be called as landing and once we have done this let's copy the following piece of line and paste it one more time but here let's have our login view and also we shall be removing this side from this side and have a login route and so and so let's copy the following piece of line one more time paste it here but here let's have a new route of sign up and similarly yes you guess it right it will be a sign up route so once we have got our entire name routes let's create a new mapping for all of our routes so for having that mapping i will be having a final routes which will be a new map and under my case of map first of all i need the name of the route so for now let's create a new route for splash route and the following context will be our value of our key of splash route now the following context shall be throwing us a new splash view that we have been built so far and in this way under my following mapping of routes the first thing will be a name route which will be a splash route and the value shall be containing the following destination on which we need to send our particular user now let's copy the following piece of line and paste it down but here let's have a new view of landing view yes we shall be building the following landing route that is landing view in some time 
So for now, we can do one thing that is go back under our meta folder where we have got all of our rep representation of our application. And here I will be creating a new view known as landing view. Under this, first of all, let's create a new main file of landing view dot dot. Under my file, I will be creating a new stateful widget known as landing view. Instead of container, as usual, let's have a scaffold. Easy. Let's have a background color for now, which will be a back color, back color itself. Once we have got our following black color, let's go under our routes and import the following landing view. Easy. Let's go under our splash view and here I can simply say navigator dot of the following context. From my following context, I will do one thing that is simply push my following route to a new name route. And the following route will be nothing but simply our landing route. Easy. Once we have done this, we are good to go. Let's remove the comment from this side and add a semicolon. Why not? So once we have built the following thing from this side, what we can really do is go back under our main.dart file. And under my main.dart file, first of all, I will be having a new home, which will be our splash view. After having a new home, let's have our initial route, which will be our splash route. And here let's have a new routes, which will be from our routes mapping itself. Easy. So once we have built the following thing, we are good to go. So after building the following splash screen, let's work over our landing view. Now, if you check our entire image, our landing view shall be containing the following big background image of Twitter bird and also the following thing that is a sidebar. What we can really do is go under our landing view. Let's remove the following piece of line from this side. And under our landing view, what we can really have is a new body. So under my case of body, under our landing route, let's have a new row. And under our row, let's have all the children. So the first child under our row shall be nothing but simply this big image. So for having that image, we can do one thing that is create a new file under our landing view for all its widgets. So here let's have landing widgets dot dot easy. Let's have a new stateless widget, which will be our landing image. Yes, it will be requiring a container. So let's import our container. First of all, let's have a width of media query so that our entire application shall be responsive under size of width into multiply by 0.5. Also, we can copy the following piece of line from this side and paste it here. But here, let's remove the following width and have a height. Similarly, let's have the parameter name to be a height instead of width. Easy. After having the following dimensions, let's have decoration to our container under a box decoration. Under our box decoration, let's have an image from our decoration image. And under our decoration image, let's have a new image from my assets. So here, let's have asset image. Under my asset, I'm going to be having my asset path. Let's go under a path.ml file and get the asset path of our background image and paste it here. After having this thing, let's copy the following landing image and paste it under our children. Let's import the following piece of line. Easy. Once we have our entire background image here, we shall be requiring the following sidebar. And for having the following sidebar, let's create a new stateless widget. Under our container, we can copy the following piece of line from this side and paste it here. Easy. And here, let's have a new child to it, which will be nothing but simply a column. And under my case of column, first of all, let's have main axis alignment under a start one. Similarly, we can have a cross axis alignment for a cross axis alignment of start. After having this thing, let's have all the children. And under case of children, if you observe our image, we shall be requiring some spacing from top. And you know what? For having spacing, I have a new file known as dimensions. The following dimensions contains a vertical size box and also horizontal size box for having some spacing. So what I can really do is have some spacing from top. And for that purpose, I'm going to be using a vertical size box of size four and also a vertical size box of size three. Once we have got this, I will be requiring a new icon from my Eva icons. So here let's have Eva icons of Twitter just like this. And here it shall be requiring a size and for size, let's have a size of 60. And also it shall be requiring a color. If you observe our image, we shall be requiring some spacing as well. So let's do one thing, copy the following spacing from this side and paste it here. After this, we shall be requiring a new text. So here let's have a new text of happening now. But we can also do one thing, instead of having a container, we can have a list view. Why not? So here let's have a new list view. Easy. So here under my following text, we shall be requiring some styling. And for having that style, I can use theme dot of the following context and I can simply have my text theme. And from my text theme, I will be adding a text theme of headline of two. Easy. 
So after having the following text, we shall be requiring some word spacing. So let's have some word spacing. And also we shall be requiring the following text of join Twitter today. So let's copy the following piece of line and paste it here. But here let's refactor the following thing into and once we have got the following thing, let's come down. Now you can see we shall be requiring two different buttons of sign up and login. And you know what? I already have created the following buttons under my widgets. Now don't worry, you shall be getting the following widgets that is buttons under your project folder that will be under a description box. So let's copy the following landing button after having some word spacing of size 2 and let's paste the following landing button here. Let's import the following landing button. Why not? So under my landing button, first of all, it shall be requiring certain parameters. So under our landing button, we shall be requiring the parameters of border color, a button color and also a button text. And after that, it shall be requiring a property that is on pressed. So on pressing over it, we can simply do one thing that is add navigator dot of the following context. And here we can simply add push named over a route. And here it will be nothing but simply a login route. So after having the following landing button, if you observe under a landing button, it has all the properties that are required. But you know what? I will be doing one thing that is add some word padding to it from the right side. So let's go back under a landing button. And here I will be adding some word spacing of size box of one and also paste it here. But here it shall be requiring different text of login and also under our button color, it shall be requiring a black color. Easy. So once we have done with the following changes, we are good to go. So now let's try it out. So for trying it out, you can do one thing that is press F5 to reload our entire application on our emulator. Now I'm going to be using my Google Chrome as my main emulator. You can use any sort of browser as you need. So press F5 and let's load the following application once. Now the following reloading might take some time. So let's wait for it. Hey gang, so our application is up and ready. If I hot reload my entire application once, let's check it out. You can see we'll be getting a following splash screen, but it is quite small. So let's do one thing, go back under our splash screen. And let's also comment the following piece of line. Let's press hot reload. Let's check it out. All right, let's reload it once. Cool, so now the first thing that we need to do is simply add the following proper spelling over our routes. So let's go under our routes. And here I can do one thing, add a proper spelling of landing. Yes, I am bad at spelling or at a single end of landing. So once we have done the following changes, let's do one thing, go under our landing views. And here I am going to be adding my landing view as well. So here let's add landing sidebar or at a landing sidebar. Cool. We need to do one thing that is go back under our routes, copy the following piece of line just from this side, copy this, paste it here. But here let's have a new view of login view. And here we shall be having foreign login view and paste it here. But you know what? We need to do one thing. Go back under our views folder. And here we need to create a new folder of login view. Easy. Let's create a new file for it, which will be login view dot dot. Easy. Let's add a new stateless widget, which will be login view. And instead of a container, let's have a new scaffold. Easy peasy. So format document first. So now let's go back here and let's import the following piece of line. Cool, so let's test it out. All right, we are getting all of our thing up and ready. We need to do one thing that is increase some of the dimensions. So what I can really do is go under our landing widgets. Yes, landing widgets. Go at the top and here we should be simply adding the following fit to our image. So first of all, let's add a fit of box fit of cover so that our entire image will be filled up easy. And once we have done with the following changes, okay, uh, one more bracket. And after that, we need to do one thing. So press Ctrl and S. Let's check it out. Cool, we are getting our entire image here. We need to do one thing that is add some word spacing to our icon. So to do that thing, let's go under our icon and here let's convert it under a row. And also let's have some word padding to our entire list view. Yes, list view. And here let's add a padding from only left side. And here let's have a left of 40 shall be enough. Or it's not a 400, but 40. Let's press Ctrl and S. Cool, so we are getting everything up and ready. Let's check our image. Exactly. Congratulations. We have done a great job. And now if I make it up short, we are getting the following jumbled things. So to make it up correct, we can do one thing that is add here a media query condition. So here I can add a condition of if media query dot of the following context. Let's have the following context and from size and width. If the following width or at a width will be greater than 715. Only at that time we, are, we will be seeing the following landing image. Else we will be watching only our landing sidebar. Let's check it out. Cool. 
let's do one thing that is add the following jumble text to be a correct one so to make it up correct you can add a condition or our media query so let's copy the following condition of this side and here i will be adding the following condition here but you know what instead of if condition it will be requiring a ternary operator because we are under a particular value so if our media query of width will be greater than 7 and 5 only at that time we will be getting the width of 0 0.5 else i can copy the following piece of line add a colon here and here i will be adding a different width which will be a total width so format document first let's test it out let's open it up cool so now you can see we'll be getting our entire thing up and ready which will be awesome and now if i make it up this side we are getting our image here let's do one thing add here a width of 900 and similarly under our this thing let's add a width of 900 let's check it out cool so now if i make it off short you can see the image will be gone and if i make it big the image will be up and ready we can also do one thing instead of having a normal container to our image we can have an animated container so here yeah, let's have an animated container also let's have a duration to it for our animation so here you can have any sort of duration under days seconds or even months but i'm gonna be having my duration only of two seconds and also we are gonna be requiring a curve so here yeah, let's have a new curves okay uh curves and from my curves i will be requiring the following curve of easy in which looks stylish as well so format document first let's try it out let's open it up let's make it big now you can see we'll be getting the following animation between our entire screens so congratulations we have done a great job for today and you know what the following tutorial has gone quite long so in the next tutorial we shall be building the login view of our application which shall be look exactly like this one so till then if you have loved this tutorial hit that like button i will see you in the next one